companies who all reported earnings heading the same way, and that's sound. It's pretty clear the Australian economy is moderating, and the key, the key question is how much further does it have to go? And the figures show just how much that slowing of the economy is being felt in the bottom line, with 41% of companies reporting a fall in earnings, more than three quarters higher than last year. And although some high-profile companies like Qantas and Rio Tinto are showering their investors in cash, dividends are also on the way down. Those parts of the share market that are most exposed to the Australian economy, particularly housing and retailing, that's where the weakness is. So while the big miners have been propped up by high global commodity prices, many household names have had a six months to forget. I think the ones that stood out, of course, were the two big retailers, Coles and Woolworths, uh, reporting quite weak, um, weak, weak profit results. Bullshit. Um, surprisingly weak. You mean the people who run the fucking price of petrol? The ones who run the fucking country? Yeah, I believe you. Well, consumer spending is around 60% of Australia's GDP, so it's very important when we're looking at the future outlook for economic growth in Australia. Another fall in construction activity in the December quarter was already reflected in the results of companies like Stockland, A.V. Jennings and Borrell. A situation which threatens one of the last pillars... This guy speaking economy, is the most reptilian-looking fucking human being you have ever seen in your life. If you see him on TV, you will believe David Icke. <laughs> he, he does not have one tooth in his head. It is in jagged and sharp. Trust me. Oh no. He's a freak. Perpetual's Matt Sherwood says it's time for the government and the Reserve Bank to get on the front foot before it's too late. I don't accept the view that we have an inevitable fate no matter what we do, but I do believe we have an inevitable fate if we do nothing. So we need to get rates lower, we need more stimulus from the government, we certainly uh, a lower exchange rate would also have. In Matt Sherwood's mind, the coalition should be looking hard at how the Rudd government kept the economy afloat through the global financial crisis, where cash handouts to households, which were then spent, were crucial. Crucial. Keep pumping the imaginary money that never existed that was borrowed from the Reserve Bank at interest, which the tax-paying public have to pay the interest on, which makes it fucking impossible to fucking pay the debt off, which makes the debt fucking increase even more. Yeah, just just pump some more of that fake shit into the economy. Yeah, that'll help. Beautiful. Thanks, Freddie. Well, for now, it appears...